Black Diamond's Pilot is becoming one of the most popular semi-assisted braking bully devices, but I wasn't sure if it's something that I wanted to use top roping, so we decided to check it out, and this way you know exactly what to expect before purchasing it. Hi, I'm Sarah from SendEdition.com, the blog that brings you all the tips, tricks, and gear review for climbers. So check that out. And this is Meg. Hey. Today we're gonna go, uh, we're going to discuss our most recent experience with the Black Diamond Pilot at gym that we just went to yesterday. So let's start with the bad, because that's what everyone wants to get first, right? Is what's bad about Of course. It. Let's talk about the most obvious thing is lowering people. Yeah, lowering people with the, uh, with here with the Black Diamond, the pilot is very different if you are used to a grigory like myself, just because you're looking more to your standard um, ATC, right? Where you're, you really have to keep that brake hand on when you're lowering someone and controlling the speed as you're active lowering. Not saying like, if you let go, the person's not going anywhere. We tested yeah. it out for you. They're not going anywhere. We did so safely. We were we were not even five feet off the ground when we tested it. Yeah, I would just put that there. We've never used the device before, so we decided to do a couple of test falls. Of course. At a distance that we were safe, you know, landing on the ground. Yeah. Um, and the first time I did it, I was a little bit nervous. Oh, definitely. Because you watch all the videos and it's like, all you do is turn it. And so we'd like turn it and nothing happens. And then you like lift it up slightly and then all of a sudden you drop in the ground. Right. And that's, that's what was probably one of the most scary things for me. Um, just because of you, it definitely takes, I feel like it takes kind of a lot of concentration. You need to have control, really keep a hand on it. Um, some people do a lowering where they'll hold your, your brake hand. Then they do the thumb and they kind yeah. of like do this. I did test that out because I wanted to see how it was. I did not feel comfortable doing that. I didn't yeah. feel like I had the control that I wanted as of the layer right. for and like to provide that safety. So for me, I definitely made sure to keep my second hand on this and then my other hand, my brake hand on it yeah. just to control it. The other thing was like, it's a really light device, which I do appreciate holding it in my hand. So it didn't have like, a lot of vibration with like the rope coming through, which was nice. It did slide through pretty nicely. Um, for me, the rope stayed onto the little spout spigot that you see there. So it glided nicely through that. But the scariest part was the carabiner. If like, for me, like just tipping it back, like it says, you know, yeah. just tip it back. Um, it didn't feel like you were going anywhere. So then as soon as I started to lift up, it was just like, boom, like yeah. zero to 60 is how it felt in speed. And it was just right. like, bring it back in, like, whoa. Well, and that, that brings us to the next not so good point is the carabiner. So this is the carabiner we used. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, as you can see, it's the C carabiner there. It's really large. Now, honestly, we put this in there. It does function, even if it goes at the bottom, it does function fully. But in comparison to the carabiner that they recommend, which we just barely purchased one of these carabiners, a great carabiner, but hella expensive, <laughs> is this is the Black Diamond, what is this? So it's a locking carabiner device, but instead of twisting, it's got these, it's a pinch and do, and then there's these really strong magnets. But the difference between this carabiner and the last one is it has this space right here that prevents the device from falling lower. So there are cheaper ones of this, just make sure it is a locking carabiner if you do get one. And then your belay loop for your harness stays down here and the this thing, the pilot stays above it. So. Um, it's not going to get down there. It's not going to have any issues like that. That may have helped with that problem, but pretty minor to be honest, because you still have this. Like this is literally what makes it break is the rope gets jammed between the carabiner and the device. And so you still have to lift it up right. to control it. So there, there is like, it will be slightly better, but it won't be significantly better. So that's probably the two biggest gripes that we have with this one. Um, the one thing that Meg didn't have this issue, but because I did, I figured it's worth pointing out, is when I was lowering, I had to, sometimes there were kinks, because we were using gym rope, so it was really grimy and gross. And sometimes it would like, 
twist a little bit and come out. Um, so I had to make sure and pay attention to make sure that it was staying on track because it doesn't function correctly if you don't have it stay on track. And the safety feature requires you to keep the rope on track. So again, that, you didn't have a problem with I didn't have the issue with it lowering with the rope really kinking, but I think that's also just the way I lower is I kind of keep my hand in the front there. So mm -hmm. it's, it's help controlling it. I don't hold the rope like way down by my knee. I got long arms. <laughs> I don't I don't hold the like rope way down there, you know? I'm I'm usually a little bit more on edge cuz I'm I'm really about safety and making sure that like not only do I feel in control but making sure that the person I'm delaying yeah. when they come down that like I'm watching them, watching hand signals am I going too fast or they yeah. want to go faster and stuff. So I feel like I'm keeping my hand here, I'm more on edge. So I'm straight feeding that rope through, so. And and I'm also safety centric, I just wanna point that out. But I actually, that's a good point, you put it out in front of you. I was actually, from ATC, belaying um, is what I have the most experience with. And so I put bringing it down to my side. Um, and I think I was just taught that literally if you put it behind your butt, it's gonna stop. Right. And that's definitely, this is not that kind of device. This is a device that you should keep in front. So that's a habit. If I was going to continue using this, I'd need to create a habit of yep. breaking in front instead of the side. See, and I come from, when I used to coach classes, we always had Grigory's um, camps I went to. The rope was always right in front of you feeding. So it just, Good like point. it's the habits I got into, the devices I got, that that's my, that's my go-to training. So it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, awesome. Um, and then the last thing for the bad, and then we'll get into the good stuff, and also what we recommend if you should get the pilot, uh, is feeding rope into this. Okay, so you, like, <laughs> it is the exact same way as feeding it into an ATC. So it's not difficult, but when you're used to loading it into an auto-locking belay device that you literally just lay the rope into it, it is, it is, it takes a bit of work. And if you're using grimy, gross climbing gym rope, which we were yesterday, it's hard. I don't know, I was frustrated with that every time putting it in. Yeah. That, that was probably one of my big gripes was just, and I'm sure, honestly, with more practice, it would just become second nature. Wouldn't it be that big of a deal. But when it's your first go around, mm -hmm. and keep in mind this is, first time using it, back in the gym after a while. Mm -hmm. So first go around, it's been a while since I've used an ATC because I use the Grigory. It's just like, it was like, I feel so dumb. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I know how to do this. Sure. It has pictures for heaven's <laughs> sake. Pictures. <laughs> and still that difficult. <laughs> uh, I mean, so it's something that's easily overcome, but because we did have a gripe with that, I had to share it with you because you might have that gripe as well. And actually, that reminds me of another bad thing. What? When I sat back while I was belaying you, I watched the rope slowly go through oh, my I device. Felt it. Unlike an auto-locking device, the position that you are in changes the efficiency of this device. So if you are perfectly straight up and the device is perfectly turned, then it's great. But if you like lean back slightly, it's going to lean the leverage back slightly. And so even though it's slow, there is movement in the rope. So if the belayer became unconscious and they're laying backwards, like it's not going to be as useful um, or as safe because it does slightly go back. So let's get into the good stuff. And then once we're done with the good stuff, we will explain what our final conclusions as to whether or not you should get the pilot. Uh, do, do you want to start or? Yeah. Um, if you've used a basic ATC, which I feel like in some point in everybody's life, they should just because it's always good to know, especially you end up going climbing with someone new and that's all the gear they have. Maybe you don't have the money for like a Grigri or something else higher up. It's always good to know. So if you have used an ATC, very easy transition, pretty much the same thing, right? You make your loop, you stick it in, you have your brake, follow the pictures, right? One's gonna go up towards your climber, one's gonna go with your brake hand. Yep. Simple, right? Yep. Um, I mean, besides the lowering and Besides the lowering, side, but, but that's such an easy transition, like that's so easy. The And the nice thing about it compared to a straight ATC is it does have that assistance. So if something happens, your climber's not going anywhere. 
We yeah. tested that out. Yeah, we tested <laughs> this out pretty extensively because that's the whole point, right? Is that it's going to stop you. Um, mm. It really does prevent you from making a ground fall. Right. And if you do move slightly, it is slightly. It is. Like, it is slightly. Yeah. I did fall on the wall yesterday, and like, it caught you. It really, caught me. Yeah. Really well. I mean, I did get. I did scrape up right here. It's a good battle. Wound. You can't really see it much, but it's there and it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and it caught me though. Like it yeah. was. A, it was probably, probably one of the biggest falls I've had in the gym, and and even with that. Uh, it still caught me. I still felt fine. If anything, I was more frustrated because I fell than, right, right. than worried at all for it catching yeah. me. Yeah. So if it does lower at all, you're not losing safety, you're just losing progress. Yeah. Which also sucks when you're projecting <laughs> a climb. Right. right, right. <laughs> um, next thing is the grip. So yeah. it's super light and it's super soft to hold. Uh, if it gets really hot outside because it is a plastic on the outside instead of metal, you're not going to have to worry about it getting hot, which where we live, it gets hot. And so metal devices are are not ideal and um, in comparison to its main competitor, really both competitors, the Eldred and the Smart 2.0, uh, the Jewel, sorry, Eldred Jewel, is it has plastic all around and you can hold the entire thing without touching any metal. There is some metal on it, don't get us wrong on that, it's just in the area where you're not. Really also on the grip, they ha it does have some very basic little lines, kind of harder to see, but they're not too deep or too rough feeling, which yeah. Um, for us, it's been a while since we've been in the gym just due to the pandemic and everything going on. So it's been a while since we've climbed. So my hands, for me, except for, I'm not sure about you, but my hands were killing me yesterday. <laughs> and knowing I was going to be holding on to a device, it was just like, I gotta hold on to something. But um, I do appreciate that it was, it gave it just enough texture on there that made it easy to hold on to, but not too much that it was like, roughing up my hands more, yeah. which I do appreciate. Yeah. I didn't have any concerns, like my fingertips were sore and I yeah. came home with blisters, which means I overclimbed. But point being like, I was okay holding this the entire time. It, was, it was felt great. Yeah. It's also really light, which I do appreciate. Mm -hmm. Not as light as your basic ATC, but that's also because there's like nothing similar, there. Honestly. But I think, it's, I think it's just like, it's a little top heavy, which obviously makes sense. You have this piece sticking out here at the top and stuff, but you compare this to, compared to the Grigri, for example, this thing like, put this in my pack and I'll forget it's there. Put the Grigri slightly in there and a little bit more. It's like, oh, no. Well, a little yeah. something, man. A little something, yeah. you know? So I do appreciate that, how light it is. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're hiking out to the crag, you you want to have light. You already have a rope that you're carrying with you. So yeah. it's kind of nice to, I mean, have something lighter. It, it is really nice and it's it's clean. Like if we got dirt in this, it'd be super easy. To super clean. easy. Especially compared to an auto locking device. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about the mechanism or anything getting dirt in it. It's right. it's perfect for that. Yeah. Uh, another thing is that it's relatively cheap. So if you haven't bought an ATC yet, or you're considering getting a new ATC, or if you're willing to pay an extra $15, $20 for this, do because the extra safety for that limited of a price like that's tiny that was, that in comparison good. for the safety that you get it's amazing which again i'm all about safety it's my biggest thing i was in a rock climbing accident previously so my safety levels have like extra been up it's why yeah. i don't really use atcs as much it's not that they're not safe if you have the right belay and someone paying attention but i'm definitely all for an assisted braking anything to give me that next level yeah so i think it's always worth that if you're putting your life out there, right? Which anytime you climb in some way, you're putting some form of your life out there, right? You're, whether it's a broken bone or just even emotionally, mentally, like putting that out there. So any sort of assisted, I will say this though, uh, you can get just the ATC pilot, which is what we did, what we should save have done. Save the most money. And save the most money, what we should have done is they actually sell it in its uh, big air, I think is what it yeah. is, like a big air package duo, which it will come with the type of carabiner that you need for this type of belay device. Not this so. exact one, because this is a different locking mechanism, but it has the same shape and it's 
it works perfectly for this kind of place. Yeah. So if you don't have a carabiner like that already, we we had we have the uh we have this kind of carabiner, right? The C-shaped one that does work with it. So we felt like we were fine. I think now that we trialed in the gym, which is why we went out and uh, we also got this type of carabiner because we figured, you know what? It's nice to have the one that's more meant for this belay device rather than just kind of being lucky and yeah. having the type of carabiner. Plus you can always have a bunch of beaners, right? <laughs> Never wrong with having them, right? It's kind of like a uh, socks. You just True. can keep accumulating more and more. And, you always use it in some form or True. another. <laughs> right. And so let's wrap up the good with this device is I think one of the things is it prevents the rope from twisting yeah. or anything like that, which is amazing. Um, you don't want twisted rope. It ruins your rope, but it also decreases its ability to help mm -hmm. protect you. So that's been something really awesome. And then also the lowering, it does help you lower. It's not difficult. No. to manage. There is like our gripe that we mentioned where it is, it takes some practice, but compared to an ATC, you definitely have a lot more control. A lot more control. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Okay. So what would you recommend someone buying the pilot? Compared to... Let's, let's compare to the <laughs> ATC. I'm okay. sorry, just compared, a basic. Compared to an ATC, absolutely. I think the assisted braking, number one, absolute feature ever spend the extra 15 yeah. 20 bucks because trust me even an x-ray costs more than that so <laughs> x-ray yeah so speaking it's, of safety speaking it's, of safety right <laughs> so i think it's definitely worth the extra money for it um especially if you're not someone that wants a full assisted you want something lighter and stuff and you're looking at an atc or this get this i think it's just so much nicer it's worth the extra 20 bucks if you can't afford it yeah and and keep in mind we are talking about top roping but this is one of the number one semi-assisted for uh lead climbing as well so it's definitely something that's versatile mm -hmm. and you'll be able to use it anywhere i mean you can bring this with you anywhere oh. amazing I would agree. I would say if you were deciding, if you had an extra 20 bucks, spend it on the pilot. It is a really good device. It works exactly how it needs to, and it gives you that peace of mind. Like when you're climbing and you know your belayer, like even if your belayer is stupid, which you should not be climbing with stupid <laughs> belayers, but say they had an emotional breakup with someone and they seem slightly distracted, like you will climb better because you will feel safe with this device. For sure. Yeah. Um, however, if you have an extra $100, <laughs> um, not even an extra $100, an extra $80, because that makes a difference. Mm. <laughs> I'm extra 80, I'm gonna go with the Grigri. I, I love the Grigri. There's some points, if you have a dirty rope, uh, hence like what we were using at the gym yesterday, um, this was easier to have the rope slide through for a grimier rope than the Grigri. Mm -hmm. But end of the day, lowering with a Grigri is still so much easier because it's a lever control, super yeah. fast on that. And it's a it's like the Grigri, I really know I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, not saying that this one doesn't have a good braking, but but I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Grigri. I've used it for over 10 years. It's, it's one of my go-to devices yeah. that it's hard to compete. So for me, it's almost like two different levels, right? Yeah, and that, that really is a good point. If you have an extra $80, uh, we're gonna make another video about auto-locking devices, comparing them to this. Mm -hmm. You should probably check out that video, uh, but for the sake of anyone who's top rope climbing, they just need, say, their first ATC or they're tired of renting an ATC from the gym, this is a great purchase. It is a great one to go with. And uh, yeah, it's a great purchase. It's a good one to go with if you're looking at ATCs to get. I mean, uh, I don't see why you wouldn't want to go with it, right? If you have, if you can afford it. If you can afford it, I think it's worth 40 yeah. bucks rather than the, um, and, and that's honestly, what we got ours about, 40, 45. And consider this, like, if you're, you can afford a $15 ATC, and this is $45, that's an extra $30. That's like a, a month's worth of Starbucks if you get one venti a week, you know? Like that's true. That's four venti coffees. Yeah. So it is it is a really good price for the additional safety that you get. Right, it's like the one part of climbing that I feel like is really nice is that 
Uh, unlike shoes that are gonna wear out or a harness, your body shape might change or even harnesses can wear out. I've had a couple harnesses that have got torn just along the way, the rocks just beat them up that, you know, um, a belay device is something that I feel like you can even go in the gym and people yeah. are like, I've had this one for 10 years and I've had yeah. this one for five years. So it's worth a little bit of the investment if you can get it. It, it really is. And there's nothing on here that's going to wear down quickly like sometimes even the ATCs with teeth on them the teeth will wear down. I've noticed that yeah. You don't have to worry about that with this. This doesn't have teeth. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We really appreciate your time. Um just so you are aware, our next video we're going to be comparing the Grigri and other auto locking devices with the pilot for top rope climbing. So if you are considering an auto locking device that is definitely a video that you should watch. And then also, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Thank you. We are going to be doing more videos like this, as well as tips and tricks and more gear reviews for climbers. So stay tuned, press that subscribe button. All right, see you guys later. See you guys later. Enjoy the climb and your send.